Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is the final Friday of the Footies promo. Literally one day, or sorry, one week. This is the last Friday, but one week left of footies no new cards and packs today it's the second week of batch number two everything should be staying the same in terms of packs today it all boils down to sbc objective content in this game and hopefully those free packs man we need those free packs ea promised them to us and they have not been released yet i thought they were going to be last friday they still haven't come yet. So anyways, we'll hope for, for those today as well. I want to talk about the content we could see today, some of the market movements, because this market is going all over the place after this man right here that you see on the info screen below, Mr. 99 Messi. I've already got him in the club. It's honestly an historic SBC for FIFA Ultimate Team, a 99 rated. That's the first ever Messi card to not have the Barcelona badge as uh, on the card with the player. So again, huge transfer SBC for that Messi. 99 rated Messi. Just insane, right? Huge amount of support for this card. A lot of people are think this is overpriced as well. I definitely get that. But it's the first 5-star Messi since FIFA 11. FIFA 11 was the last time we had a 5-star skill Messi. So that has impacted the market a lot. And there's so many people that are continuing to build that SBC that I think that and the, just the demand on the SBC fodder today on this game is going to make a lot of the market kind of, it's all going to base around the SBCs today. So that's what I want to talk about. And of course, look back at yesterday and what all moved with that insane messy SBC. But let's talk about things we're expecting today. First off, to start this video. First things first, the five times 91 plus. I was unsure if it would come yesterday or on Friday, and it is locked in and confirmed now that this should come today because it did not drop yesterday. They just added the code one day early. I wouldn't. I would 100% expect this today. I believe the 90 plus times five actually dropped uh, a couple weeks ago on Friday as well during Footies Batch Two. So a 91 times five this time around. Again, depending on how they structure this SBC today, a lot of the high tier fodder, a lot of your 85s, 86, and you know these these cards, especially some of your higher tier tots, 92 rated tots cards like Gundawan, 28, 29,000 coins. He was only 17k before the messy SBC yesterday. That's why you're seeing a lot of SBCs, especially icon SBCs, get a lot more expensive right now. Patrick Vieira's SBC is 2 million coins. This SBC alone by itself was 1.5 mil, 1.2 mil after rewards yesterday. He's almost up a million coins, about 800k in value, just because of this one SBC right here and messy and all of the squads that it requires, the first ever 91 squad. We'll talk a little bit more about that, but depending on how they do this SBC today and the 99 Mane or Conte, I think is really gonna, we're gonna have to see how they price it, right? And how they do it, because they could do a five times 91 plus and require like an 86 rated squad, and that's it. Or they could go the annoying route and do an 80 rated squad, an 81 rated squad, 82, 83, kind of like how they have the 87 times 10. They could go that route with a 91 plus today as well. I kind of hope they go with the less squads route, just a lot more pain free. But this is going to be the main piece of content today because a lot of people are going to try to do this pack. If they did Messi, they're going to hopefully pack, you know, maybe Acuna if they need to get him in the squad. Maybe Verazzi if they haven't packed him. Of course, you have the chance of packing Neymar. You'll have the chance of packing Ronaldo. I mean, the other 99 Messi that will be in, in these packs through SBCs, Firmino, Foden. Griezmann, Pogba, Militao, all of those cards will be able to be packed because they're in batch three. So that's going to be the biggest piece of content today, in my opinion. And then also you have the big time player voting SBC. And again, since we've had the fodder really go up because of Messi, I really think that the Conte or the Mane, whoever wins today, and I really, really want Conte to win, but I'm just feeling like Mane is going to win it because that's how it's been for all these SBCs. Aubameyang, of course, we thought Martial was going to win, but Aubameyang did. I think today, I think Mane might win. I really hope that it, it's not him. I think, I really hope that it's Conte. I want it to be Conte, but we will see. But regardless of whoever it is, we have Premier League tax because Premier League SBCs are always a little bit more expensive. And especially with the fodder prices being up already, if EA don't go out of their way today to make Mane or Conte, whoever wins, really cheap, we're probably going to have another overpriced SBC like this Aubameyang. I could see one of those SBCs today, like Mane or Conte, whoever wins, I'm thinking probably like 
over 500k for sure but it could easily be 700,000 coins plus because of the messy sbc and just the amount that those um sbc fodder cards the tots cards have gone up now i do expect fodder to go down a little bit today because again you can see people have been doing this messy sbc the first ever 91 rated squad i was just it's still crazy to think the first ever 91 rated squad requirement inside of an SBC came out yesterday. But Messi started off at 1.3 mil. I know it says 1.4, but in the moment, he was about 1.3 million coins in that first hour. He rose all the way back up now to 1.7, where this card is now sitting. 1.7 million coins to do the five-star skill Messi. So... Again, with fodder being up, I do think that with all the packs that will op be open tomorrow, I bet EA Sports will drop a madness in terms of preview packs. Yesterday, they dropped the other pack that was added to the code Wednesday night into Thursday, the 85 to 91 gold 12 preview pack, which I didn't get anything good from. I got a couple tots cards, but again, it's not enough to make 60,000 coins back worth of value, but I would not be surprised if we had another one of these today. Also, maybe lightning rounds. They've been doing lightning rounds the past couple weeks. So we'll see if they do that again today. And also maybe like the 88 plus star rare preview pack. That would be a good way for EA to supply this market again with some of those fodder cards. Some of the cards for, you know, SBCs that a lot of people want to do. But the real worry for me today is is that either Kane, Kante or Mane, whoever wins, is just going to be overpriced because A, um, fodder is up. Because B, Premier League tax. And here's the other thing, right? I know a lot of you guys want Conte or want Mane. But a lot of people submitted their whole entire clubs for this Messi card today. Like, I'm probably not going to do. If it's Conte, I'll be I'll be very inclined to at least give it a shot and to look at the SBC. I would love to run Sissoko and Conte both in the same team. But, I mean, with doing this Messi card today, this is an expensive SBC. And a lot of people are doing this. They're, they're chipping away at it, right? It's 10 squads. They're chipping away at it. Or they've already submitted, like, their entire club to get this Messi card. Then I feel like I feel like people are going to be out of SBC fodder to do a Conte, to do a Mane, and if there are SBCs that people want to do today, they would do the 91 plus times five before they would do one of those 99 players. So I really hope it's Conte. I hope it's a great value SBC. I hope EA price it very well, knowing that Messi has pushed fodder up on the market considerably, um, and we will see what happens with that. But that's just my worry around those SBCs today. Now the other thing that's being talked about is. There's still rumors about Renato Sanchez, but there's also some rumors about another dynamic duo inside of maybe either milestones or in objectives. Of course, Amavi goes away in 13 hours. So if you need to get your League One left back sorted, uh, last chance to do that, to get this guy and to get him in your League One weekend league plus requirements, which of course are what a lot of people are going to be doing with Messi this weekend. So good luck if you're out there. Beware of those 99 Messi left-footed finesse shots. My goodness, is that card insane as it should be. But there are some rumors about maybe an Ansu Fati, maybe La, a Pedri dynamic duo objective. But of course, there's Renato Sanchez rumors still floating around as well. So we will see what happens with that. I would expect even with, though we have Conte or Mane having an SBC vote winning um, player player release today, I still would expect to see another SBC alongside of that too. So we might have two player SBCs. Um, the 91 plus times five, and then at least one player in objectives, unless they release two, like a dynamic duo. So could be a lot of players today, but again, I think EA knows that there's no new cards coming into packs and it's just going to have to be a day that is carried by SBCs and objectives. Now, the only other thing that I'm slightly worried about is with the big colossal SBC that Messi was released yesterday, I'm slightly worried that today could actually be a little bit of a downer day. Like they might actually go softer on the content today, not put out as much, maybe because they're like, all right, everybody's working on this Messi card and we'll release Conte or Mane and then the 80, the 91 times five, and then maybe they'll keep it pretty quiet after that. I don't know. So that's one thing I'm a slight bit worried about just in case EA decided to go out and maybe make today a little bit less of a hype of Friday, but I hope that is not the situation at all. Again, I really hope we get the free packs as well because we still are due one of those engagement rewards that the period ended August 9th. They didn't release them uh, last Friday on the 13th, but hopefully today on the 20th, they do. Now, of course, we had that almost free 125K pack earlier in the week with the silver stuff, but as of right now, it does not look like... Um, we, we, we haven't. We have not received 
those uh, free rewards that we were hoping to see and that we are due. So EA Sports released those today. That'd be very, very nice if we had those um, because that would also help out people that have no fodder on this game. But market-wise, a lot of your PSG items have rebounded back. There was panic selling. Paredes went from like 95K down to like 80, maybe even 75. He's back up to 90,000 coins. I actually had a 99 Messi that I bought and tried out for the team. I panic sold it. I lost a bunch of coins on him, but it was all worth it for this big Messi. That was a GG. But I made some of it back though as well. Um, I bought a team of the year Messi trading in August. Am I right? I bought this for 650 during the panic yesterday. And there's a bid on one right there at 750, 745, 749. So I might list this up right now. I might do a cheeky undercut here at like 730. See if I can get a sale. And uh, I'd be very happy with a little bit of profit on that. Make a little bit of the coins back that we lost. Still chilling somewhere around a million coins after all said and done. And, and doing that messy SBC. But a lot of your League One cards, again, people buying Mbappe, people buying Neymar to link up with this brand new Messi card. I mean, those are your obvious links. This Mbappe yesterday went down to 1.05 mil and is now rebounding back up to 1.17. Still in packs today with that 91 times five could be very interesting today. I do expect to be a little bit of panic on some of these cards that are in packs, but really that focus on League One is just so, so massive. We're probably going to see a little bit of a sell-off this weekend, but you know, a 99 Messi, that's not going to leave people's teams. So people are going to getting that, be getting that 99 Messi and be putting him into their teams. Um, and so maybe on a guy like Mbappe or Neymar, you might not see as much sell-off because those are cards that people will buy and put in their teams for the rest of the year, right? Because they just need those links. Those PSG links are huge. So I mean, I would just definitely watch this Mbappe. I would watch the Neymars because they have rebounded back pretty nicely as a lot of people are trying to link that Messi to those items. This Neymar was like 2.6 flat. He's only up 100K. Uh, but where's the Tots Neymar? 1.48, almost 1.5. He was in the 1.3s yesterday. Um, Verratti was down to 220. He's now up to 250. Acuna was 250. He's now 290. So you definitely had some Argentine and some PSG links rebound back pretty well. I would watch those links again today. If there's panic selling, more people are going to be getting Messi's SBC done today. I think some people are waiting to see with Conte and with Mane who ends up winning the vote to then decide if they want to undertake the doing of going out and participating in that Messi SBC. But again, what a crazy day yesterday was. I mean, just seeing the 99 rated Messi in the game was shocking, right? Now, he's not going to get a dynamic image. I know a lot of you guys are asking. He's probably not going to get one. Um, he's, this image is actually his, his base gold card image, I believe, with the Barcelona jersey on. You can see the red there. It's kind of the same thing as Depay, right? Depay had a transfer SBC. They don't actually have an image they can use with the rights of him wearing PSG. So that's a bit unfortunate, but it, just the card in game is ridiculous. So that's going to be the main point of the weekend. A lot of people finishing that SBC. We'll see what happens with the Conte slash Mane SBC, the 91 times five, which I think will be the focal point of content today. And of course, the objectives, whatever they are. If we get a Renato, imagine a 99 Messi and then the next day getting a boosted Renato Sanchez card for the League One Weekend League. That'd be crazy. So we'll see if that happens today. That'd be a lot of content in just in a two short day time frame. But we will see if it happens today on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. So that's the video for today, guys. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.